Listo para tu wet adventure? <laughs> Agradecido, es una palabra. Agradecido y. Encadenando paz. con lluvia y todo. Sí, Hasta con lluvia se encadena. Fanático, me siento fanático. <risa> <risa> ah, qué bonita esta ruta también, wow. ¿Sabes? Es de esas rutas que las ves y dices, te toca el pegue. Sí, es que esa es una de sí. Fíjate el péndulo, Fer.
Montserrat yesterday. It's a local crag. It's 40, 45 minutes away driving. Maybe a little bit more because when you get there, you have to hike in. Rocks and climbing and so many vertical faces. But what had happened was that uh, it was raining and it had actually started raining on our commute there and it was raining while we were in Montserrat. And so we basically had to scavenge for dry climbs, which happened to be overhung. And I totally paused. I just don't feel confident on overhung climbs yet. Like I just don't. And this is something I'm really working on mentally and physically. I want to feel like when I grab any kind of hold that I have the power. This overhung was also over this plaque beginning. So if you fall, like you're not gonna hit the rock, but it really looks like you are. And that's another thing I'm battling with here. It's fear, you know, fear of falling and hurting myself. And I'm really just telling myself, I'm not scared, I'm not scared, I'm not scared, and trying my best to fix this, but it is a process. It doesn't just change, you know? I don't really have too many videos of me on it, but I do have Ilich and Louise on these beautiful little warm-ups. And then we tried this gorgeous, gorgeous face techie climb. And it was wet when Ilich put the draws up on it, so whew, thank goodness he is an absolute beast because he <laughs> went ahead and was an angel and set up a top rope for both Luis and I, and it was awesome. Like, I had so much fun. It was just great. <laughs> I love top roping outside. I feel like slowly though, with top roping, I get more and more confidence to try things on lead. It's like, okay, like this isn't too bad, and then I go for it, and then I build up that awareness, that self-awareness and confidence. So I do think there is value in setting up top ropes and trying hard moves on them. But yeah, so it was just a beautiful day and it's really nice to break up uh, like a really intensive six week training program with a few days of outdoor climbing just to kind of like, you know, get your hands on some real rock, get, get playing again. I dropped the phone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.